Hey, this is Rohan from DragonLogo.com and today I'll be reviewing the Stella Phoenix Data Recovery Software. As the name suggests, this software lets you recover the data that you have permanently deleted from your computer. This software will also let you recover files from your external storages such as pen drives, hard drives, memory cards and so on. So let's start by deleting some files and then I'll try to recover them with the software. And I'll go to this drive that I created to test out the software. As you can see, I have various types of files over here. I have some video files of my shadow play recording over here. I have some JPEG files and a PNG file as well. Let's start by deleting one of each of these file formats. A PNG file, a JPEG and one MP4 media file. Right click and delete. And now I'll go to my recycle bin and delete the file from there as well. And it's asking if I want to permanently delete these files or not. So yes, okay now that that's done, let's move on to the Stella Phoenix software. So I have the professional edition installed, but if the files that you want to recover are of less than 1 GB, then you can recover them for free with the free version of the software. But if the file size is more than 1 GB, then you'll have to purchase a license. I will link down all the links required for the software in the description box below. Moving on to the software, the user interface is pretty simple. On the main screen, you can select what files you want to recover. You can either choose all data, which will search for all the files, or you can choose a specific file that you want to recover. You can selectively recover office files, folders, emails, and multimedia files such as photos, audios, and videos. So I know what files I want to recover, so I'll untick all data and choose photos and videos. Click on next and here you can select the location of the drive that you want to recover the files from. Apart from the drives, you can also search from common locations such as desktop, my documents or you can choose a specific location. These are all my hard drive partitions and by selecting this option, you will also be able to recover any lost partitions and you can recover files from disk images as well. My files were deleted from this drive, so I'll select it and click on scan. Oh, I almost forgot. You can enable deep scan from here if the software wasn't able to find your deleted file with the normal scan. But first, let's just keep it off and try to search for the deleted files as it is. And scan. Whoa, that was super fast. The message says that it has found almost 8 GB of recoverable files. So this is a list of all the files that are in the hard drive. You can sort and view the files in three ways. This over here is the tree view. This is the file type where all the files are sorted in folders that they belong to. There is the video and the photos folder. And inside the folder it is again sorted into a folder with the file format name. And the last one is the deleted list which will show you all the deleted files. So I deleted my files from the recycle bin, so it is named like that. The names are all weird, but you can click on each one of them and see a small preview of it if you want. This is the PNG file, this one's the MP4 and this is the JPEG file. I will select these files and click on recover. Here it's asking me to select the destination. So let's just select desktop and click on start saving. Okay, so the recovery has started and the software has already created a root folder in which the files are going to be recovered. Another thing that you should be aware of is that try not to recover the files in the same partition or folder from which you deleted the data from. This may or may not give you some errors, so it's better to be safe than sorry. I'm gonna fast forward this process now. Okay, so it took the software about three minutes to recover 1.5 GB of permanently deleted data, which is actually pretty fast. So let's go ahead and check the root folder and try opening these files. So the image folders are recovered properly. Let's see if it's the same for the video as well to see if there's any bad corrupt data or not.
Hmm, it seems like there is no bad recovery and the video is playing fine. Oh look, a flying swimming human. <laughs> That's something you don't get to see every day. Well, this was the Stella Phoenix data recovery software. I would definitely recommend you guys to go and check out the software and let me know if this software helped you in recovering your data or not. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. See you in the next video. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. To have your product reviewed, visit bit.ly slash review my product.